Welcome back everybody to Madden 09 with the Austin Venom Cupcake Franchise Rebuild. We are nearing the end of Season 3 in the series and are very close to our goal this year of getting to 5 wins. Which if you follow our rules down below in the description that would allow us to sign free agents between the overalls of 70 and 75 as we continue to build up this Austin Venom roster. This year, for the first time, we actually have strengths as a team. I think our passing game has become a big strength as we've built a passing game with two number one picks at quarterback and receiver and another early round wideout in Shane Dexter. That was my main priority, building up the pass game, hoping the running game would get better as well and sometimes it's good, sometimes not so much. It's inconsistent which is to kind of be expected. When it comes to our defense, the main thing there is that we have found a way to make big plays. And we all know that Denard Sloan is the creator of most of those big plays. He's 25 years old in his third year, of course, from Oregon. And he is on an incredible pace with 17 interceptions in his young career. When we checked out this list here in past seasons, we were basically last in every category, and while we're not doing like fantastic, it shows the growth that we are 21st in yardage, 28th in offense, 26th in passing. I still think that from where we were so low at 32 to where we are now shows some big improvement, but still we have a long way to go. But I'm very happy that we've been able to step things up this year. It said we were first in sacks, but... That isn't true, we're almost last. I don't know how it has uh, 17 listed there, but we have 17 interceptions and that is number one in the NFL, so I don't know. I think they have those flipped. Yeah, we have 17 picks and 14 sacks. All right, makes sense. All right, everybody, so we are about to get into another game today. And we have a matchup against the Philadelphia Eagles here on the schedule. Checking out the rest of our games, we play three of them against teams that are probably going to the postseason and two that are not. So we're going to take on Philadelphia today. They are 6-4 and four, looking for a big victory. We picked up a nice division win a couple episodes ago. Now we're going for our second. Can we pull it off one more time, everybody? We just need one more win this year. And I think that we have a very good chance of getting it done with five games left on the schedule. I know three are against teams that we're probably not likely to defeat, but I still think that we can find a way. We've done it this year four times. Let's go for one more. Philadelphia will have it first. This is Lido Shepard on the return from the four yard line and he's out to the 26. Here's a look at the Philadelphia offense. We are playing against Donovan McNabb today. And Brian Westbrook is in the game as well and McNabb is nearly picked off right away. That's through the hands of Frankie Johnson. Much of our success this year has been all about getting turnovers. I'm really impressed that we've already gotten to that stage. We're not always playing the best overall defense, but turnovers sure make things look a lot better. So second and 10 for Philadelphia. And they're going to run for the first time here. Westbrook has nowhere to go, and it's a quick third and 13. Defense trying to get off the field quickly. Here comes Reggie Brown. McNabb's got time and finds his man shy of the sticks and we will take over. Starting our day here on offense with a rollout and we're going to lop this one. This is risky and it's through the hands of Marcus O'Donnell who has made a number of big plays for us this season. They did give that one to O'Donnell as a drop. Drops have not been as much of an issue this year, and that's obviously because we go and draft two highly rated receivers, and O'Donnell gets better. So many drives were just 
failed because of drops in the first couple of seasons. Now trying to convert a third and nine, and that's caught. Looks to be a first down as they blitz the boundary corner. Five-man rush now and barely getting this away. It's a catch this time. O'Donnell into Philly territory. That's a solid catch and run. We'll go back to the running game this time. And Moore gets upended. There's a big hit and he's down. Roderick Moore in pain. And now let's see what this uh, injury is. Hip pointer will return soon. Okay. So he'll come out of the game for the time being. Maybe the rest of this possession. But another third down. Again, we're so far from field goal range. Even at the Philly 43. We do not have a great kicker. And we're going to roll here. And throw it intercepted. O'Donnell found an opening here underneath as the defender went to the shallow receiver there, Truman. But the ball goes right to him. You wish uh, Truman would have caught that instead. He had a shot too. But the Eagles take over. And we'll see if we can play some more defense. Interceptions haven't been as much of a problem as they were early in the series at least. But now Philadelphia taking over. It's a three tight end look, and they run Westbrook here to the outside for a gain of five. Leon Daniels getting some playing time here today as we are missing Remington Hunter, I believe, for the rest of the season. And on second down, pressure picked up, and there's Curtis on the outside. Kevin Curtis for a first down. I like to get aggressive here with my safeties. I don't need safety help here against the tight end, do I? I don't think so. First and 10 here with McNabb in the eye. And it's Westbrook. And that is a short pickup. And it looks like another injury. And now we've seen more exit the game. And now Philadelphia is back. Brian Westbrook is hurt. And this is going to be a bruised shoulder. So, Carell Buckhalter now in the game at tailback for Philadelphia. And they'll bring Smith in motion. It's a fake and a flag on the play. Are they going to call DPI there? They sure are. It's only a two-yard penalty here, a spot foul, and Philadelphia will run this now. There was an opening for Buckhalter, but the Venom closed. It's a two-yard gain. Here's McNabb on second down, and he wants to run with this one. And that looks to be a good decision as he picks up around five. All right, aggressiveness is usually what works out the best here for the Venom. Third down and three. Philly might be able to handle a field goal from here. They'll actually have an NFL caliber kicker. And here's the pressure, and they find Smith. And he's tripped up. A touchdown-saving tackle by Robert Montana. Here's Westbrook. He's back in the game now and picks up a few more here for Philly as they have it third and five here at our 21. All right, we're blitzing Campbell this time. I like getting five-man pressures here on third down as much as possible. McNabb fakes and throws it on target and that is Kevin Curtis. Eagles down to the five yard line now. Now touchdowns here versus field goals are huge. Can we keep him out of the end zone? Westbrook's not going to get there on first down. Philly set to try it again. Westbrook again gets the carry, and he can't go anywhere. It brings up third down. All right, can the red zone defense pick up the stand? Third and seven, offset backfield here. Surprised to see these formations after just how modern football has changed. Westbrook breaks a tackle and is stopped a couple yards shy of the end zone. 
All right, we're playing now down 3 nothing, And Roderick Moore is back in the game. And he will pick up a couple yards here on first down. We'll head back to the air this time. And there's a catch made. Corey Joyner, he's got a first down. You got to love what Corey Joyner is doing as a rookie. I think he has a very good chance of becoming rookie of the year. Depending if there's like a quarterback putting up big numbers. Now we're going to take a shot. This one for O'Donnell. And it's broken up. Good coverage. We'll throw it again here on second down. And this is squeezed in on the outside to Shane Dexter. That's another Austin first down. Mixing it up here with the running game, but it has not done much these last couple of episodes. Ever since we had like that long touchdown run, it's been a struggle to get going. Third and six here for Austin. Got to call this four down territory. And that is close. Catch made at the 22-yard line. That was pretty close right there. Would I like to challenge the play? Why would I want to challenge the play? I want to watch it again. And perhaps I can go in here instead. Replays. I want to see how close this really was. Good job here in pass protection. And... Yep, looks like a catch to me. Let's run this snap quick as fast as possible. I don't see them contesting it. I don't know why. But it's a catch now in the books forever. And Spivey picks up two. I have no clue why they didn't challenge that. That looked actually pretty obvious. But we'll face a third and eight now as that went through the hands of Joyner. All right, let's see if we can attack this secondary. We'll head to the air and the pressure got there in a hurry. All right, I was not expecting that, especially with how well the pass protection has been. But they do bring some pressure, and there's just a bunch of confusion up front. But from here, what do you do? It's 4th and 18 from the 30. If we don't have wind, we can't make this field goal. 47-yard try. With wind. I don't know if we can do this. I might have to cut Calvin Walker after this game if he doesn't make this kick. Walker on the way and no good. We'll have to see if somebody else is available in free agency. He Wait a minute. He should have missed it by going off the crossbar, but he went through it. It is through the ball. So we were like a quarter to a half yard shy there, I guess. Almost got it. Still shut out here. This game is moving by quick. It's already 227 to go in the second quarter. As the Eagles take over in what is now a two minute drill scenario. All right, Eagles keep it on the ground here, and Westbrook gets through the first level and to the 47. That was Philadelphia's best run of the day, and now I expect some throwing here inside of two minutes. They do spread the defense out on first. And throw it outside to Deshaun Jackson. He somehow made that catch with Michael Coe in good position. I think the key now is, can we force another field goal on this drive? Well, here's Curtis with another catch, and that moves the sticks. Already at the Austin 20, and they still have all three timeouts. Now, if they can get inside the 10 here, I'm going to start using mine to try to get one more possession. We'll see if they're able to maintain a, a good pace here as they go back to an offset look. And it's a fake again, and an awkward throw by McNabb. We'll pitch this one out to Westbrook, and there's nowhere for him to go. You just can't run outside very well against this defense. 
Easily has made a big difference there. He has the run and chase skills that nobody had in the beginning of the series. Third down this time, and we're going to give it up. We dropped eight in coverage. See, on third and longs in these games, that's where I play like the softest coverage. I let my guard down there because I, I don't blitz on third and long. I do on third and medium or third and short. So, first and goal, Philly. That's out of bounds. At this point, I would be calling timeouts to save whatever's left for us. Especially if we can like get a good return. It's not that hard to get in range for at least a Hail Mary. Hard to get in field goal range with Calvin Walker. But here goes McNabb taking off inside the 10. And that is going to bring up a third down. All right, this time we're not just dropping eight and letting him pick apart the defense. We're going to bring some pressure. And here's third and goal. McNabb, comfortable, finds his man Smith. And that is going to bring up fourth down. So twice they've made it down here into the red zone. And it's so big to force field goals here. It's only 6 nothing. I'm not trying to waste these 36 seconds here. Can we get a good return? That's not bad. Out to the 37-yard line. So you'd be excited about that, saying, hey, maybe a couple good throws that were in field goal range. Not for us. But we're going to head to the air to try to make something happen. Over the middle, and I tried to lob it over him. Oh, no. That's not good. Spangler is down. John Spangler. Be efficient here. You can't afford to let time slip away from you. I understand that, but I'm trying to talk about John Spangler exiting the football game. We did not get any sort of an update or indication there. It is now second and ten with Geno Harris stepping onto the football field. And we're going to roll right. He's not open. I realize that. But late separation gets us the first down. By the way, that injury caused us to spend our final time out. So we need to figure out how to use the sideline. We can probably get a play and then spike. But we need more than one play here, I think. So we'll motion out Roderick Moore. He's got it. That's five. Now, if we can get O'Donnell here, that's going to be big. Back to the air again. He's not open. We're going to extend it. We got to throw this one away. Scrambling there would just take up too much time. All right. Are we able to make anything work? Okay, they're going to blitz off the right edge probably. That's fine. In that case... We'll head to the air. O'Donnell's not open. Five seconds left. Just heave it now. And two seconds to go. All right. So we'll throw right. this one to the go end zone. The here. And Get just see what thing. happens. Let's have more protect just in case. Philadelphia is going to bring the blitz here. We're able to buy some time. And it's going to get there, everybody. And it's caught for the touchdown. Dexter. How about that sequence to end the half? Geno Harris gets it done. Oh, I had no idea. Spangler was actually back in the game. Nice job buying some time here. And here's the thing. You shouldn't try to knock that down. You gotta go for a hit. You're not gonna knock the pass down. One-on-one -on -one with Dexter. And what a play. I wish they gave me better injury updates there. I had no idea that Spangler had come back into the ball game, But we're lucky he did. All right, everybody. A 7-6 game here at the end of the first half. I think we have a pretty good one today. Now, obviously, that is more of a fluky play. You can't build an offense out of that unless you have Aaron Rodgers a few years ago, in which case it did work many times. But we're going to have to find some other ways to move the football today. Use your aggressiveness against him here. You might be able to turn a jailbreak screen into a huge play in this one. 
Remember, get it out to the receiver quickly and let him pick through his blocks. But Coach Madden wants to run a jailbreak screen. I don't even see that here as an option. I have 25 seconds, so I'll look. All right, we're trusting Coach Madden on this one. Would John Madden himself steer this team in the wrong direction? I don't think he would. I wish this was a bubble instead to Dexter. All right, screen pass. Got to get upfield here. Loss of one. All right, we got to get this conversion, though. Third down and eight. We'll throw it. Oh, it's in. That's a big catch. Shane Dexter once more. All right, Dexter's had a pretty good game to this point. Oh, dodging the pressure. No! Spangler missed badly, and it's intercepted again. Oh, that was such a good play to avoid the sack, and then he just throws it wildly. Another unblocked defender. Spangler doesn't care. And this ball. Oh, man. Those are the interceptions that I just cannot stand. Philadelphia has their second takeaway of the day. And they're already at the Austin 39. McNabb heads to the air, and that's caught by LJ Smith for a short game. We're sending pressure now. Still having trouble getting near McNabb as he finds Kevin Curtis. And he takes it inside the 20. It's all about the red zone play. They've settled for field goals on their first two trips. Now a pivotal third red zone possession underway for the Eagles. McNabb with time. Has Jackson. He makes the first man miss. And the next two. Touchdown, Eagles. Sloppy tackling here gives the Eagles their first touchdown of the ball game. We haven't seen three defenders look that silly since the beginning of the series. Now time for a two-point conversion. They do spread out the defense here, which I don't think that plays to our advantage when teams do that. I think we're better when things are more compact. McNabb takes off and is wrapped up. That's easily. You could say he easily made the play. All right, after a pretty good kick return, Austin takes over, trailing by five. It's a quick one, right off the hands of Marcus O'Donnell. We don't seem as sharp today, that's for sure. Some of these plays that we made in past episodes just aren't happening. I don't like how aggressive this is here, but we're going to counter it. Clear things out there and throw it to Corey Joyner. Unfortunately, we're still very one-dimensional. I was hoping to have a bit more of the ground game helping out. Here we go. Spangler lobs it out and hooks up at the 25 with Chris Clemens. That probably wasn't the right call there. Trent Cole got good depth on his own drop and made that a double coverage situation. But Spangler has some incredible arm talent. He's made some really nice throws. We're going to try to run the football now. Spivey gets this one. Heads outside. Kind of feels really slow. Four down territory here, I would have to think. Well, he could kick three. I just don't really want to. We'll get outside now, and this is Deron Nelson. All right, one guy who hasn't gotten much attention today is Sylvester Truman. This could be a play for him. We'll block more. And here we go. Outside now, and there's another good throw from Spangler. When we get isolation there on the outside, that's usually where I'm looking. Eagles had created some quick pressure there, too. All right, we spread out the defense, trying to create a running lane here. It's more to the end zone! Touchdown, Venom! There you go. Let's go celebrate with the Philly fans. I'm sure they'll enjoy this as Austin takes a 13-12 lead. We're going to go for two. 
for the air we go cut this one let's go Marcus O'Donnell Austin up by three Lido Shepard handles the kick return and Philly will take over at the 33 yard line so they're coming off their only touchdown drive of the day I would prefer they do not throw the football to Deshaun Jackson but I imagine that's what they'll try to do, but he's not on the field right now. So outside of Jackson, it's been Kevin Curtis who's given us problems, and he's got the Sloan matchup, which is weird that he's not having his best game or that he's having his worst game, and that should have been a catch and run for Westbrook. I don't know why the CPU loves their offset eye formation so much in this game. Fullbacks getting a lot of playing time in this series. All right, second and ten here for the Eagle offense. We do stack the box once again as they run it. Westbrook for five. Here's a big third and six now for the Eagles, and Deshaun Jackson's back on the field. That's a huge problem when he's in the slot. I don't know why he's not playing every snap, but when he's out there, we don't really have a good answer with our man coverage, especially. I mean, we'll check out the route here for a second time. I think he's got the Brickley matchup, and Brickley just has no chance at all. But what fascinates me so much about this season is the way in which we've won our games and the unlikely events that have transpired in those victories. Today could be another one, and what's the unlikely event in this game? The pre-halftime Hail Mary, that's so huge. McNabb now, time to throw Reggie Brown inside the 35. Alright, if Jackson's on the field, I have to audible the zone coverage. It's too reckless to play man-to-man -man here if we have to defend his speed. And I just never know when he's going to be out there. So here's Kevin Curtis once again, and Westbrook is brought down. Very nice job. That's Xavier McAllister. I like man coverage in this series. Man coverage in this era of Madden, it worked a lot better. But you gotta respect mismatches. So we audible once again, and they're gonna go backwards. Jackson only plays when they spread the field out a bit more, so... Now we can play our man-to-man. -man. We can send to safety if we need to. That's our entire progress there. If Jackson is on the field, then play it safe. If he's off the field, then play aggressively. Third and long. The reason why I like to blitz a lot on third downs now is because if I don't see the flats as being a reasonable way for them to move the sticks, then I'm just not going to defend them. So, 3rd and 12 here. I don't care about the flats. If you can get the perfect catch and run, good on you. But I'm going to forego defending that area and send some pressure. Nowhere near McNabb as Evans makes the catch. And here you should consider going for two. Or <laughs> going for the first down. But they'll probably tie the game. They will not be going for two. They will be going for three, actually. David Akers. 41-yard try, right hash. Cobb holds, and this kick is good. 15-15. All right, all tied up here in the fourth quarter. Who's going to take this one? We're not taking it with our running game, that's for sure. I love getting looks like this from the secondary, but can we get that deep separation? No. Over the middle, what are you talking about? It's intercepted! For the third time today! Come on! So here's what I'm looking at on this play. I'm ignoring the flats pretty much. I like O'Donnell there, but this is gonna be undercut. Dexter isn't getting the deep separation I was hoping for, so, I mean, that's the easy read right there. And what happens? We have Joiner. Reach out for it. How is this an interception? Come on, man. That's Madden for you. 
Okay, so the Eagles take over at the 46. We do stack the box once again. Almost jumped off sides. And McNabb's going to throw it. Curtis versus Sloan. That's incomplete. I thought he caught that one. Here's another look at it. Catch. Almost made. Oh, he did lose it, but I don't think he was going to have his feet in bounds anyway. All right, Montana down in the box as an extra linebacker, essentially. And on second down, Montana forces the throw to Smith, and he can't handle it. Third down. I hope they don't send Westbrook to the left flat, because we're going to send five again here. And it's a throw to Reggie Brown, and he's out of bounds. All right, close one. Pretty good call by Philly, just didn't work. And we will erase the interception, basically. All right, let's try to avoid the fourth interception on this drive. And the pressure is getting through, and there's nobody on this side of the field. This has become a pretty fun, hard-fought game. More mistakes than we're used to, but it's been a good time. Oh, good adjustment! Corey Joyner once again with a big play. With the passing games, though, being so hit or miss, you'd love to have a bit of balance there at the running game. It's unfortunate that's not working. Off the back foot, there's Truman. And a solid gain on first and ten. Roderick Moore in the backfield now, looking for a bit of space, and he'll get enough to move the chains. Ball at midfield now for Austin. And we're floating this one, and there's Moore breaking a tackle, and he is taken down after a 15-yard catch at the Philadelphia 35. Pressure on the way again. Here is Truman. And he'll get seven more. Pretty good drive we have here. All right, this is a six-man box. And we're going to try to run against it. Nice job, Roderick Moore. Trying to break the tie here in the fourth quarter. We're going to head to the air. Whoa, more pressure off the edge. Philadelphia is aggressive, and they get to Spangler once again. All right, we're starting to run some clock here in the fourth. We'll head to the air. We're going outside here. Off the hands again of O'Donnell. Oh, that's got to be a catch. Marcus O'Donnell is not having a good day here today. Spangler put this throw on the money. You just got to find a way to come down with that. And from here, we know that a field goal is tough, so we have to get yardage. We've got to find a way to get five, six yards. So can we do that? Caught by Moore. That's not much, but... That makes it a 42-yard field goal try. They also ruled that he stepped out of bounds. So the clock stops. And now Calvin Walker has to try to get us in front. And this is another wind-aided kick. So he barely missed from 47. Walker's kick this time will give Austin a three-point lead. But with 2.19 to go... The Eagles have an opening to go and take this game. Down to the wire, everybody. It's intense football action like everybody wants to see. Here we go. Deshaun Jackson on the kick return. Jackson brought down on first contact. That's Chris Clemens doing what our defense has struggled to do throughout the game. Chris Clemens, if we win this game, is one of the heroes of the game for that tackle and the big catchy head earlier between defenders. So the Philadelphia offense comes out in a very strange formation choice, but Westbrook looks to bounce it, and it looks like it's not too bad of a decision after all. Uh-oh, Jackson's on the field, audible. 
Not to cover two. Not going to work. Although they don't really attack deep to expose the defense like you should. McNabb throws complete. Reggie Brown almost lost it. Philadelphia up to the 41 now. They have plenty of time. Oh boy. Just trying to find something beyond cover three, like a cover six. Don't see it. McNabb on target. Jackson across the 50 yard line. That's his fourth catch of the game. Now down to about 90 seconds to play. I think I'm going to call a timeout and change our defense. All right, we're going to make the move here. I can't do it any other way than this. So we're going to move Denard Sloan to the slot. Which means Brickley's going to go outside here. I actually want Ko to swap with him. So Ko covers Curtis and Sloan covers Djax. And then here in this menu, we'll make it so Sloan's at least on the field here in our base. And that's what they're coming out in, forcing us to go 4-3 again. So Sloan over here. That should work out. Here is McNabb. Curtis makes a man miss. Gain a 7. Now they're going to go hurry up from here, so no Jackson on the field. That's pretty big. I don't want this clock to be stopped. I don't want anybody going out of bounds. I don't want an incomplete... Well, I do want incomplete passes. But I don't want to see Deshaun Jackson in the game. Off play action. Brown makes the catch. He got away from Sloan. It's a first down at the Austin 19. One minute to go. Blitz of safety. Oh, they're going Heath Evans in the slot. The old fullback slot trick. McNabb almost intercepted. Would have won the game possibly. Deshaun Jackson is on the field. Denard Sloan lines up across from him. This one is going down to the wire. Donovan McNabb has time and throws to the end zone and it's LJ Smith, touchdown! With 45 seconds left. We switched positions defensively. And Philadelphia attacks Sloan and Daryl Easley to get to the end zone. And Michael Coe. Those are our three best cover defenders. And now, with the extra point, a field goal does us no good. We must score a touchdown in 45 seconds. Can the kick return help us out? We're across the 20. At the 29, we'll take over. And we do have two timeouts left. I used one on that last possession. We've got to get to the end zone. All right. We spread out the Philadelphia defense. Looks like they're going to double both Joyner and Dexter on this play. So we're going to float this one. Truman makes the catch at the 41 timeout Austin. They didn't even have the coverage on that play I expected. This team gets weird blitzing their defensive backs so much. Let's actually flip this. O'Donnell. Possibly. We head to the air. Outside for O'Donnell. This time he's got it. Timeout again for Austin. We're out of them now. 33 yards from the end zone. It has not been a good day for Marcus O'Donnell. But that is one of the most important plays of the game right there. Alright. We have a shot now to go to the end zone. We're going to have to spike the ball if we obviously can't get to the sideline. Here we go. Only a two-man rush. And it's thrown outside. Got it at the 20. Wow. Marcus O'Donnell once again. I threw this way too late too. That ball should have been out way earlier. But Spangler gets away. Oh, he was out of bounds. I think he stepped out. 
I'm not sure the game is going to care. So it's another catch. And we're 20 yards out now with 22 seconds to go. Truman here is always risky because can he really get separation? 22 seconds on the clock. They bring the pressure. We float this one and it's out of reach. All right, here's what I'm feeling here. I love the combination there with O'Donnell and Joyner. Let's get Roderick Moore out there as well. Can I have him line up out wide? No? Alright, we're going to block Truman, actually. 18 seconds left. Throwing over the middle here. Caught! At the 2! And time is running out! 5! 4! We gotta get the snap off! This is... No! I needed one more second! I thought we were going to get one more play there. That took so long to get to the line. One yard or maybe two yards short. And the Eagles pick up the win. What a game. I didn't get what I wanted there on that uh, combination with them. Eagles played it perfectly. Couldn't really take a shot. So, just going across the middle here. Couldn't get out of bounds, obviously. And maybe the difference here is the fact that he was able to fight for the extra yardage here rather than go down immediately. So, we needed just one more second to get a playoff, and then we could have thrown a quick slant, and who knows if that would have worked. But the Eagles do give us a big defeat here in what was one of the most intense and fun games of the season. It was a weird game with the interceptions. They got glitchy against us. We got some plays against them that shouldn't have counted. So I think it all kind of evened it itself out in the end. McNabb, 20-28 for 233 and two touchdowns. Neither team ran the football well in this game, but we almost pulled this off. Dexter had six catches for a buck four, including the big Hail Mary. LJ Smith was very key for the Eagles with that touchdown. Ah, I can't believe we lost. We still have chances to go and get that fifth victory this season, but it's just one game less now. And here against the New Orleans Saints, I'm going to sim this game. It's a 3-9 Saints team. We have a better record than them. If we can't get the job done here, it'll leave us with a few left to go. Against the New Orleans Saints in Week 14, the Austin Venom lose 21-10. Against Jared Lorenzen and Drew Brees. A team effort here for the New Orleans Saints. So that leaves us with a few games to go and try to get this win. Looks like next episode we'll pick it up. We get the New York Giants. We've seen them a lot in this series. We have the Giants, the Colts, and the Cardinals. So a couple good teams here and then Arizona. I'm thinking maybe to close out this season I'd play all these games until we would get a win and then sim. So potentially play all three of them or just a couple of them. What do you want to see? Well, that was going to bring us to the end of the episode. That was a really fun game today. It was one of our most intense of the entire series. We're going to have to come back and try to get the win another way. That was not our sharpest performance. It could have been a lot better. And I think we're seeing, you know, the sliders are getting more and more dialed in. That was really fun. As I've mentioned, the sliders in this game are really strange. So there are no CPU sliders. All you can do is edit this stuff if you want to go custom. So here's what I have currently. For passing sliders, 44 QB accuracy, 48 pass blocking, and 49 wide receiver catching. Nothing too ridiculous there. For rushing, just a little bit down for run blocking. It's usually pretty strong in the user's favor. 
For pass defense, that's where I've made the most changes because by default coverage is very tight in this game and I wanted to loosen it up just a little bit. And I like where things are right now. And for rush defense, I think that that's just one area the CPU is so bad and so it's a spot I have to keep uh, working on. But I probably won't touch pass defense until I think I need to. But that's where I'm at right now with the series. The games are getting more and more fun, more intense. I hope you had a fun time today. We almost pulled it off. And that is going to do it for this one, everybody. Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you with more Austin Venom football soon. Have a great day, everybody.